going over my code for matches three. So let's see here. Implement time addition on matches. This first requirement is taken care of in playstate.lua right here. Um, so this is when it calculates the score. I also just, or it adds the score. I also add the timer. <laughs> Ensure level one starts with just simple flat blocks and then later levels generate blocks with patterns like them. For that is in board. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, right up here. So here in initialize tiles, um, this is the code, either one, um, to build a board. And you can see right here, I passed math.random of self.level. So level one is just one type, and then level two is two types, level three is three types. Uh, and it just goes up from there for the levels. Uh, next, create random shiny versions of blocks that destroy an entire row on match, granting points for each block in the row. So you can already see here that I stick a, there's a 10% chance for a shiny block to go in, and that's the true or false here. Uh, goes over to tile. So tile has a new parameter self dot shiny, um, and that can that's a boolean, so it's true or false, and that's what gets passed here. Uh, and then down here in render, if it's shiny, so here if self dot is shiny, I just draw a white rectangle over it, and you'll see that later when I run the game. Uh, oh, and then to destroy the entire thing is in ah oh, shit. is in board.lua and calculate matches down here. I have a so shiny tile. This is for horizontal matches. And then you just stick the whole row in there into the, uh, the matches array. And then here down in vertical matches, we do pretty much the same thing. Test to see if it's shiny. And if it is, then it adds the whole column. Only allows swapping when it results in a match, and if no matches build or form, reset the board. Uh, so the main way I went about this is in playstate.lua. When, let's see, in the update function. So, so this is the original code to swap the grid position. Um, and then this is the, the main logic here. So. If, uh, if there are no matches calculated, then you swap them back and you play the error sound and set the highlighted tile to nil. Otherwise, you perform the tweening function and you do the calculate matches. Uh, something I had to do for this was, so I wrote a match exists function in board. And this just basically tests if there's a match available. Um, so that essentially the board knows if, if there's a move that, that works or not. Um, and so it just loops through all the tiles and checks, this checks the tile to the left, this checks the tile to the right, checks the tile above, and that checks the tile below. And then I wrote a custom swap function in board here as well, uh, just to make that easier up in this function here. And yeah, we'll play it and see where we go. I also have the debug console here, although I turned all the debug notes off so you won't see anything. Let's see how I do. Moment of truth. So I can tell there's already a match available here, so I'm gonna, boom, done. And let's try where it won't match. Oh, doesn't let me do that. I wonder if I can get a white block. Eh, there's no way to do that right now. The fact that it's still going, it hasn't reshuffled, tells me there's still a match available. Let me see if I can reset once and see if I can get a... Uh... Well, you know what I can do? Let's just run over to... Is shiny... I think that's, that was 
this up here. Now it should be a board. Where I initialize the board in initialize tiles. So let's set this to two, and that'll make it 50%. Computers are running pretty slow. Oh, look at all those shiny tiles. Ah, oh, they're so shiny. And now I can't see what color everything is. It's hard because all the grays and the pinks uh, I found look different. Anyways, I'm totally failing at this. I gave it one more go. Oh, here's a non. And this isn't gonna work. Maybe if I go up. Nope, still won't let me. This is embarrassing. Oh, here we go. Boom. Whole rows, whole column is gone. 